Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from acsyndicate.net here to do a video, an updated video showing you the latest method to root your Samsung Galaxy S3. This has been tested on Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, and Rogers Samsung Galaxy S3 models. So this should work on all four of them. Um, I don't, I'm not sure about Verizon, but I know Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, and Rogers all work. So this is how you root it. It's the latest method. It's the easiest method. So I will link from my old video to this updated video. So you're probably coming from that video um, at the moment. So again, I'll link to it from that video. This is an updated video. This is the latest method. This is the easiest method. Um, it will also install Clockwork Mod Recovery. So what we're going to need to do first is actually we have our device right here. Um, mine's, mine is completely stock actually. Um, now what we're going to need to do is go ahead and get all our files downloaded. So what you can do is click on the link in the description of the video. Doing so will take you to this website right here. I do want to give a huge shout out and thanks to uh, CM Team Epic, everyone involved, Nuvenal, Warren, I mean everyone involved in this. Uh, big shout out and thanks to them. So we're going to need to click on a couple links actually. Click on the first link uh, where it says Clockwork Mod Recovery for all SGS3 LTE variants. It will take you to this website right here. Um, it'll say Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, we're gonna need to download a couple files. So the files we're gonna need to download is first this uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery LTE file. So you'll see there's two numbers. Click on either one of them, it doesn't matter. Click on it, it'll automatically download your PC actually. Uh, so we're gonna need that file. We're also, if you have not, you're gonna need to make sure you install these drivers on your PC. So this, these would be your PC drivers actually. So click on this link and uh, download that file, that exe file and run that on your PC if you have not yet. So make sure you do that as well. I already have it on my PC so I'm not gonna do it. You're also gonna need to download uh, Odin version 3.04. So click on one of these numbers as well. It'll download it uh, once they are down, those two are downloaded. Um, we're not done yet. What you can do is go back to that other website um, and you will need to click on this second link, Root from Recovery. And once you go to that, it will take you to this site right here and download file right here. Uh, Team Epic Root from Recovery, click on one of these numbers right here and download it. So you're going to need to download three files. First of all, the Clockwork Mod Recovery tar file, Odin, along with the Team Epic Root zip file. So once we go into our downloads folder, uh, in downloads you will see you have all three of those files. Uh, so we are just about ready to go. What we're going to need to do first is actually just plug in our phone into our PC while it's on. So go ahead and plug it into our PC and then it should come up on our PC as a, as a media device, of course. So uh, once it shows up, you'll see SPHL 710 over on the left side here. Um, it comes up auto play. So you'll see uh, that our phone is shown up right here. Well, all we, the file we need to transfer is that Team Epic root from recovery file. Transfer that over to your device. So copy it on over to your internal storage. Uh, it'll transfer on over. It shouldn't take too long. Um, so you can go in and go into your phone and double check and make sure it's there. You will see uh, it's called Team Epic Root from Recovery right here, this file. So it is there, uh, which is good, obviously. So that means we're done there. We can actually unplug our device from our PC. All right, once we unplug our device, uh, what we're going to need to do is go ahead and go into that downloads folder again, and you will see that you still have that Odin file along with that Clockwork Mod Tar file. What I recommend doing is actually going to your desktop and making a new folder. So go ahead and right click on your desktop, hit new folder, and again, call it something like GS3 root. Doesn't matter. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, just make sure you know what it is. And then go ahead and double click on this Odin file that is in here, and you'll see a folder inside of it. Click and drag that folder inside that GS3 root folder, and then hit back, and then you'll see this tar file. Click and drag that tar file into your GS3 root folder as well. So double click on the GS3 root folder, and you will see you have that Odin uh, folder along with the tar file. Double click on that Odin, Odin folder, right click on Odin and hit run as administrator and hit yes. What that's gonna do is go ahead and open up Odin. All right, so the first step we need to take is go ahead and press this PDA button right here. Go ahead and press that PDA button and then navigate to that GS3 root folder on our desktop. Uh, just go ahead and click on desktop find that GS3 root folder, double click on it, and now double click on this tar file right here. So double click on that tar file, you will see it gets put in the PDA slot, it, has, it is checked right there. Now what you need to do is uncheck auto reboot. Do not check auto reboot and leave F reset time checked. 
Um, and once you've done that, you are just about ready to go. What you can do now is go ahead and go to your device and power it off. I've already powered mine off, so go ahead and shut off your phone now. I also recommend just leaving the back cover off as well. Um, so go ahead and take that off. Just might as well do it because we're going to need to do it in a second. So take off that back cover and power off your device. Uh, obviously leave the battery in for now. Um, but now what we're going to need to do is get into download mode. To do so, press and hold volume down, home button, and power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them until the first screen lights up and then let go right here so you can let go now press volume up to continue so press volume up to continue what that's going to do is put it into download mode so you'll see we are in download mode go ahead and plug in our device into our pc now so go ahead and plug it on in once you plug it on in if it says installing any drivers or anything go ahead and let it do its thing uh, but eventually it should say a blue box should pop up right here it should say com and then a number it doesn't matter what the number is but it should say com and then a number that lets you know Odin recognizes your device. If you have any problems with Odin, usually it's the cable. Usually the cable has an issue. So try a different cable, try different USB ports, try reinstalling drivers as well, try rebooting your PC, try rebooting your phone. Those are all different steps to uh, help with Odin. But anyways, double check, only F reset time checked. You have the PDA, the tar file in the PDA slot. Uh, Odin recognizes your device. Just go ahead and hit that start button then. Just so go ahead and hit the start button. And then what it's gonna do is take probably like seven seconds and install that uh, new recovery. Basically what this is doing is installing clockwork mount recovery. It took six seconds, it said pass, all threads completed. Once it says pass, you're ready to go. Um, go ahead and unplug your device. And now you'll see that it's still in download mode because it's not automatically rebooting because we unchecked auto reboot. Now flip it over and pull that battery out. So go ahead and pull your battery out. Um, once pulled out, we are just about ready to go. Go ahead and go back to your phone. All right, and of course our phone's powered off. We just pulled the battery, put it back in. Now what we need to do is go ahead and go straight into recovery. So press and hold volume up, home button, and power button all at the same time, and let go once the first screen lights up. So lights up, let go. Uh, what that's gonna do is take us into our new custom recovery clockwork mod. And you will see it loads on up. Here we go, clockwork mod based recovery 5.5.0.4. This would be Clockwork Mod, here it is. To navigate through Clockwork Mod, use the volume up and down keys and the power button to select your menu uh, option. So there you have it, uh, up and down with the volume keys, power button to select. Now what you need to do is go down to install zip from SD card, press that power button to select it, choose zip from SD card or internal SD card, whether you put it in your external or internal SD card. Mine is on my internal SD card, press the power button. Um, and it looks like it took it back. I'm gonna go back to install from SD card. Uh, looks like I accidentally said uh, back menu button disabled. If you see this at the bottom, just go to the top, go up, down, up, down, and you'll see it says back menu button enabled. So that's how you get rid of that on accident. If you do that, you have problems with your recovery. That's how you fix it. But anyway, sorry about that. Go to install zip from SD card again, and I'm gonna go to choose zip from internal SD card because that is where I put that file, that zip file, uh, team epic root from recovery dot zip. You'll see that file. Go ahead and navigate to it. Press the power button to select it, and then hit yes. Install team epic root from recovery zip. And what this is going to do is give us root access. So there we go, install from SD card complete, hit go back, and then reboot system now. So what that's going to do is automatically reboot our device, and that should be it. All right, and now that my phone has booted up, I go to my app drawer, and inside my app drawer, you should see an application called Super User right there. So if you see that Super User, um, you're pretty much good to go. You should probably double check and make sure you do have root access. I installed an application from the Play Store called Root Check Basic. I'm gonna go ahead and go into it and all you have to do is press verify root access and allow it super user permissions. Congratulations, the, the device has root access. If for any reason your phone is not showing this, um, what I recommend doing is trying to flash a different zip file through Clockwork Mod Recovery. I will link to that different zip file in the description of the video, so if you basically go to it and it says, um, you do not have root access if you do not have the super user application installed then i'm going to go ahead and link to a different zip file that you can install through that clockwork mod recovery the same way that you install that other zip file that team epic root zip file as well but other than that though there you have it you are fully rooted you have clockwork mod you can install roms 
Uh, you can do whatever you want. So that would be it. You can get free Wi-Fi hotspot. I do have a video on how to do that. I will link to that video in the description, so be sure to check that out. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.